Hey everybody, how's it going? Bully Scholarship, we here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario, my favorite game of all time. Uh, if you weren't here last time, pretty much we uh, proceeded with the story after arriving at Dry Dry Outpost by uh, giving a random guy a lime. Uh, no, a lemon. Lemon, that was it. And anyway, then we did some exploring in the desert to get some more badges that I've never gotten before, and uh, now we found our way to Dry Dry Ruins, so let's proceed onward. We've been having some creepy warnings. Oh yeah, here's uh, here's some new enemies here. These are weird pokies. I don't know what they're called actually. Let's see. Um, the quake camera. Oh no, let's see. Uh, pokey mummy. Oh well, that's a very s fitting name I would say. All right. So I'm not sure how much HP these guys have compared to like regular pokies. I can't imagine that, that much different, but we'll have to see. Uh, let's, uh, just see if this will kill them. Hopefully it will. Yep, they're the same as regular Pokies, just different color. Oh, that's convenient. But from what I remember, there's a, uh, useful badge in one of these. There it is. I'm just gonna grab that. That's the Spike Shield badge, and pretty much it lets you jump on a spiked enemy and... Like it says, you won't take damage. So we're going to equip that just for this area. Um, let's see, what badges do I have equipped? Oh. Oh, it takes two. Shoot. Well, then we're going to unequip... Hmm. We're going to unequip the power bounce, because we can always use... Or, power jump. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Let's see, so we'll put on spike shield. Just, it's mainly for this, uh, for this dungeon, should I say. Because that it definitely helps out. You can jump on spiked enemies and not have to worry about it. So now I can do like a power bounce. And hopefully kill this guy. Alright, excellent. And we'll do a shell shot and kill this one. Cool. So yeah, that's definitely helpful when you're fighting a bunch of spiked enemies like you're in the desert. Um, yeah, I'm just going to clear this whole area. So I'll cut this fight with this last one and I'll see you here in just a sec. Alright, so that, I think that's all of them. Let's see, or is there a fourth one? Nope, I guess not. Alright, so we need a key for this lock, so let's go down here and see what's going down. Hey, look, a key, that's convenient. Woo! And I believe up top we can get ourselves a star piece, if I remember correctly. Or in a similar chamber like this. Um, let's see, we open that up, and we'll go in here and... See, yeah, it's all sand. I think there's going to be a star piece down here, but what we do is we jump on the switch, and it lowers the sand, so just keep an eye out for that um, if you're playing this game or if you play it in the future, because star pieces are always nice. Let's see, I guess it's not down here. It might be in the, uh, I think there's another one like this that we'll see. But in other news, um, today, <laughs> which is pretty freaking fast, I got those like 43 Nintendo powers from uh... oh hang on FOOL! You have ignored my warning haven't you, you fool? You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands. Okay, anyway, um... I got my Nintendo powers in the mail and the guy just shipped them yesterday which is insane in my opinion. But I mean it's just one state to the other but still I mean. Mail is never that fast. Here, let's, here's another enemy we can fight. Uh, these are little turtles, but they have... Let's see, yeah. Buzzy beetles, that's what they're called. I remember these guys. I'm not sure how much HP they have. That was probably overdoing it a bit, but oh well. I'm guessing they've got one or two defense points. Yeah, two. So you gotta flip them over if you want to do damage. At least at this point in the game. Now, if you had, like, a Mega Hammer badge, maybe you could beat the snot out of these guys, but for now, we're just gonna do this. And I believe after just one turn, they flip over, but I don't think they attack you. Alright, it looks like they have three or less HP, so that's not too bad. But, yeah, I was impressed by how fast I got them, and I was really excited, too, because I want, I really hoped they'd be all, uh, hopefully more retro ones, and they were. Uh, they were perfect, perfect, like, time zone where I wanted those Nintendo powers. Um... Like, 20 to 22 of them were N64 era. Um, there was like 10 or so that were Super Nintendo and a few NES era, which is really cool. There was like a Battletoads one. 
and stuff like that. And I also had purchased a few ones earlier. I got like a Virtual Boy one just because I thought it was funny. Um, stuff like that. Uh, I think up here is where that star piece is. Yep. I don't know how you would miss that. But anyway, um... So, I, most of them were Super Nintendo N64 era. There's a few Game Boy Advance ones, which actually I was kind of cool with. Because, you know, that that was the first... The Game Boy Advance is the first handheld I ever got as a kid. So that, that system I have a lot of memories with. And that's a great system, you know. The first game... The first handheld game I ever got was uh, Super Mario Advance. So, definitely a cool... Uh, wow, that was a terrible fail right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, so... I was uh, really excited for the stuff I found, and there was like a few, there was like one, oh shoot, what the heck am I doing? There was like one pre-GameCube one, I think, or something like that, but otherwise, or there was a few pre-GameCube with the Game Boy Advance ones, that's on me, but otherwise, great stuff, so I, w I was really satisfied, and uh, I got a pretty darn good deal on them, uh, 20 bucks, plus about 20 to ship them, 40 bucks, that's... That's like a dollar an issue for those, and that's a great deal. I'm really sucking in this fight here. I'm not sure what the heck I'm doing. Oh, dang it. I need to switch to, uh, Paracarry. <sighs> yeah, I really could use a uh, level up pretty soon here. Okay, that'd be really useful, but I don't think I'm going to run into one of those for a little while, because most of these enemies only give me two star points. But anyway, yeah, I was really excited, and, uh, there's some great stuff in there. I, the stuff I'm really excited is all the Pokemon stuff. Oh, cool. We're gonna get double star points, but it's only four. <laughs> Woo! Yay! <laughs> Eight star points. But anyway, um, I was really excited because there's so much Pokemon stuff, and I very much enjoy Pokemon. It's one of my favorite game series. It's pretty much the series that got me into RPGs, except for Paper Mario. But this is a this is a really loose, really light-hearted RPG. Pokemon's a little bit more serious, but still goofy and fun. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I was really excited about that. Now here is a room where we'll be getting something special, but I think if you walk down here, these uh, catacombs all open. I'm gonna fight all these guys off screen, off screen for you here. Yep. And what I'm gonna do, actually... Here, let me, uh, let's see, what do I have? Maple syrup, yep, we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna switch to a uh, bomb bet and try to get some uh, free bomb attacks. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> alright, guys, I'll see you after I clear this whole area, alright? Okay, that should be clear then. So, with that, I believe we'll get a. Oh, yeah, we'll get a key, excellent. So, uh, I'm gonna use that to open up this door here. But before we do that, we're gonna go over here. Uh, let's see, yeah. Just going to... Oh, maybe we aren't. Never mind. Oh, yep, that's right. It's a different chamber. Never mind. We gotta go in here. Let's see. Let's open this up. I think there's another room back here, actually. Yep, this is what I was thinking of. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see. Down here, there's a crack in the wall. Might as well blow that up that we got Bomb Bet out here. And let's kill this guy. Okay, that was more than one of those turtles, definitely. Anyway, let's go back here. Turn back, thief, your time is running out. If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble. I do not lie, you will regret it. Yeah, I'm gonna do him in the Bane voice. Let's see, is there anything over here? No, nothing that we need to do here, I don't think. Actually... That? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> nope, definitely not. Sorry guys, I haven't played this game for a while. I am a little bit, uh... Ow! Anyway, as I was saying, I was, uh... I'm a little bit rusty with my, uh, Paper Mario stuff. There we go. And this will lead us back to that area that we actually blew up the wall. Up here is where that wall we blew up. But anyway, while we're down here, let's upgrade our party member. Woo! With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Um, let's see. Power bomb. I'm going to do Bombat. 
It's sort of a tie between Bombay and Cooper, but I'm gonna do Bombay for now. I like her. She's pretty awesome. And now we have a ground attack that will hit all enemies on the ground. So it's not like a Cooper has anything different. He, except he learned Dizzy Shell. So I don't know. And here's another room that is useless to us for now. So let's hop back up and go back over here. Now up there is something else we can get. I might go back over here just to double check something. Um, I believe. I know we got a key. I think we do. Whoops. No, I guess we don't. Never mind. I know where we're going. I've eliminated every other room. Uh, every, no matter how many times I play through this place, I always forget a few things and forget which what leads to what. Um, but let's go up here because there is an item upgrade back here if I remember correctly. But um, one of the coolest things, like I mentioned, was pretty much all the Pokemon stuff in a lot of the articles. Uh, wait, come on, don't go in that room. Oops, <clears throat> I mean, read now while you still can. If you can continue, uh, you'll feel a horrible curse. <laughs> this guy's faking it like a boss. Let's go all the way over here. Oh, here's a block that we can't break, and there's a big chest. I wonder what we're going to get if we can get into that room. Hmm. Anyway, here's a little floor puzzle thing. Uh, let me just step on this, and what it does changes all of that stuff. But it's like, oh crap! How do I get all over the place? But anyway, you just hit this. <laughs> it's not too difficult. Do that, and now we can cross over here. Woo! But how do we get that way? Well, we gotta hit this. So now we have that set the correct way, and now we can just cross over here and we'll get up and over that wall. Just don't step on that. Well, I guess that don't matter anyway. But there's actually a little secret badge back here. If you uh, bear with me, make sure I don't screw this up. All you do is gonna drop down here I believe yep and back in here most random secret you get like the crappiest badge in the game the slow go badge makes Mario unable to run his pace becomes very slow I don't know why you'd ever want to torture yourself with such a badge but just for completionist reasons we're gonna get that and let me show it to you let's see better not take any BP that'd be so stupid okay holding down the control stick you can only walk this fast yeah, I don't, I don't know what, <laughs> if it's to, I don't know, if they want to do a slow-go speed run or something, I, I don't freaking know. But anyway, let's open up this chest. You got the super hammer, the attack of Mario's, uh, the attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can destroy new, you can now destroy stone blocks. Ugh, I'm kind of tired, I'm sorry if my reading sucks. Alright, so yeah, now we can break those blocks and we get an upgrade. It's pretty much like an upgrade block for Mario, only it just affects his hammer abilities. But, that's alright. I'm excited. So with that, there's a lot more stuff we can do, but let's go back down here. I blew up this wall. I don't know if I went back in here yet. Oh yeah, I did. So, we're gonna smash these because we gotta collect some stuff. Oh, a chomp! Mini boss fight. Alright, but now with our hammer, we can do significantly more damage. So I'll show this off right now. Oh yeah, two damage each, and these guys have two defense points, just like so point that out, otherwise that seemed pretty lame. Yeah, so, definitely a good upgrade and a needed upgrade for enemies with high defense points, like those clefts we were encountering earlier in uh, Mount Rugged, so that definitely helps out when the enemies have that. And there we were hitting at three. But let's see, I think these guys have two defense points. Maybe they only have one. That might make more sense, actually. They might don't. Yeah, they probably have one defense point. There we go. Got all those coins. But anyway, so yeah, we gotta collect three stones. Here's the diamond stone. There's also a moon one. I'm not sure if they call it the lunar stone. I don't remember. <laughs> and then there's also the uh, some other one. Star? No, I don't remember. I'm not too good with that. But we're gonna have to put them in here. But we're not gonna worry about that for a little bit. Let's go down here again. See, there's that key. But now let's smash this. And get this. Excellent. 
because there was a uh, room that needed a key, so might as well snag that while we're down here. Excellent. And now we have to go through this death room again that I kind of dislike. Oh, jeez. That's cutting it close. Oh, excellent. All right. I'm really trying to avoid fights in here. At least with those turtles, because there's always four of them, and it's kind of annoying. All right. So with that being done, let's head back up here, because we are done in this area for now. For now. I think we will be coming back, because we got to put those stones in place. But now with uh, that new hammer upgrade, we can break that block and snag in sort of an... Let's see. No, it's not an optional item. I, you know, as a kid, I always thought it was, but when you get a lot later in the game, you're going to need this item. And this is the artifact. A strange artifact found dry, dry ruins. Yeah, you're, we're going to need that for much, much later in the game, but don't worry about it for now. You'll see when it uh, comes up. Let's see. Have we gotten in this room yet? No, we haven't. Here's another chain chomp place. Oh, snap. Ah, uh, run away. This one you could actually... Oh, no, you got to fight it. Well, uh, here... <laughs> I'm gonna be a jerk and snag some free attack power. Yeah! Awesome. Oh, that killed it. Holy cow. I guess that hits through defense points. That's really cool. Anyway, let's uh, kill these chain chomps and then there's only one more of those uh, stones or whatever the heck they're called that uh, we gotta collect. But, um, okay, I keep getting interrupted. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, all right. Now, see, that's better. I mean, it's not as great as a boss fight, but at least we get some decent reward. Yeah. 16 star points, I'll take that. Now we're pretty close to leveling up. And I might get uh, badge points, actually, next time. But, um, the coolest thing, I've said this 20 times, but, uh, the coolest thing with those Nintendo powers is often they have, like, a little comic book that, uh, showcases an episode of Pokemon. And I think it's so freaking cool. Um, I just, I don't know, I think that's awesome. Because uh, most almost all of them are from Pokemon Season 1. And uh, that was my favorite season, of course. It's just classic, so. Really excited to see that. But anyway, let's see. I think we're going to head back down here. I'm trying to remember where the crap... So we went back in here, we did that. What did I miss? Did I miss something? Oh! Duh! We're gonna go back here. Because I got that key. And there should be one more... Uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was forgetting. Okay, we're gonna open this up. Ruins key. Excellent. That's what we needed. So by opening this up, we have... A... Place. And we're going to drain the sand one more time. And this shows us uh, the order, or, and or I guess the uh, the pattern in which we got to display those stones in that small or in that larger version of this. So it goes uh, pyramid, star, moon, or diamond, moon. I don't know. Whatever. I'll remember it. So now we can cross here, and there's going to be one more room, and back here should be the last stone. Excellent. Smash this. And I think one of them jumps down. Yeah. Oh, I always forget that that guy comes from the wall. I don't remember that. That's funny. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, we'll just do a regular attack. We're gonna be too lazy, but... Hmm, I might try to level up before we cut this episode, because the boss fight's actually coming up pretty quick, and that'll be in the next episode. Because uh, that would be a very convenient level up time, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's finish this guy off. And bam, got him. Wish Merlin showed up again, but that's all right. So seven more star points and we'll level up. Let's collect our loot. Holy cow, that's a lot of coins. Wow, I'm missing them all. Oh, geez. All right, we got most of them. So it's Pyramid, Diamond, Moon. So I'm going to put those in. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll put those in in just a sec. I'm just going to cut, go level up. I'll uh, see you guys back here after I level up. All right, here we go. We're going to level up right here, and then I'll, uh, let's see. I'm going to choose, yeah, we're going to do BP. So I'll meet you guys back at where I'm going to put those stones into place. 
All right, here we are. So we're gonna do the pyramid, diamond, and lunar. All right, we did something right. Woo! Pyro's like running around trying to catch something. What the heck is he doing? <laughs> so weird. Anyway, let's uh, proceed down these steps and see what's awaiting us down here. Ooh, a heart block right after we leveled up. Just what I needed. And nothing back here. Oh boy. This is your final warning. Enough of this foolishness. Leave at once. Nah. But anyway, guys, that's all the time we have. Um, find out next time what we're going to encounter in this next chamber. Is he scary or is he a fool? You'll find out next time. So anyway, guys, I thank you all for watching. This has been Boy Scholarship Wii. And as always, keep gaming and peace out. We'll see you later.